people involved. Um, in the end, I believe it's a, a skill to be performed under pressure that you can practice and that you can improve. Um, we've wanted to take control of those processes, feel in charge of it. Um, it's obviously helped by the fact that this time around, we've got a lot more players that take penalties regularly for their clubs. Uh, but nevertheless, we're, we've now won three of our last four, um, which is a big shift from where we were, where we'd won one in seven, I think. So, yeah, a, a lot of people have been involved. A lot of people can um, take a lot of satisfaction in that piece of work. Um, and again, we have to be ready in case that's needed tomorrow. I played well. Nil-nil, <laughs> <laughs> uh, defender's dream. Um, we obviously uh, won that game on penalties. Um, Nadal is the player who sticks in my mind from, uh, from that game in particular. Um, maybe Kiko played as well, I think. Uh, and maybe Luis Enrique in, in that uh, on the bench. So, um, yeah, I remember it was a very tough game. Probably a game Spain should have won. And... Um, uh, but uh, yeah, important um, day for for England. Our games with Spain have always been close, always difficult. Um, Spain then hadn't had the success that they've had since, and of course won so many trophies. So uh, you know we've we've met Spain not, uh, a lot at youth level as well in in a lot of finals. So we know that their development of young players has been excellent for a long time. We've followed the project very closely, seen lots of the players that are in the team now play at junior levels. Um, but our junior teams have also been developing and improving, and now we're starting to see those players come into the senior team as well. So I think two, two nations that are on a good pathway in terms of uh, now and the future. Um, yeah, I think sometimes you have to go through difficult nights as a team. Um, we tried to change the mindset from the start. We tried to be more honest about where we were as a football nation. You know, I've travelled to World Cups, European Championships, watching as an observer and watched highlights, reels before the matches that are on the big screens and we weren't in any of them. <laughs> because they only show the finals and you only show the, the, the big games. So we needed to change that. We had high expectations, but um, they didn't match where we were performance-wise. Now the high expectations are still there, but um, we have had consistent performances over you know, certainly three of the last four tournaments, the quarter-final as well in the fourth. So in the end, you, you have to be always in the latter stages of the tournaments um, to be able to learn how to win those big games. And uh, we're learning that. We've come through a lot of big nights now. Um, you know, a lot of records that we've broken, but we, we know in the end we have, to, we have to do this one. We have to get this trophy um, to really feel the respect of uh, the rest of the football world, I guess. <laughs> I, I couldn't give you my feelings for the last three weeks, never mind the last 20 years. So, um, look, um, for me, um, those difficult nights um, have taught me that football can change so quickly. Uh, the difference between winning and losing is so small. Um, it's given me more perspective in my life because in the end... Um, there are bigger things than football that are more important. Um, but football has given me an amazing life, amazing experiences, travel the world, be a part of something I love doing for you know, nearly 35 years of my life. I couldn't have wished for anything more to represent my country um, as a player and then to be able to lead my country for eight years as a manager has been the biggest privilege I could possibly have. So. Tomorrow, um, I don't have any fear of what might happen because I've been through everything. I want the players to feel that fearlessness. I want them to 
be able to be the best version of themselves because whatever happens, we're so strong as a group, we support each other. And I think if we're not, I said earlier in the tournament, if we're not afraid to lose, it gives us a better chance of winning. And um, that's very important for us. So yeah, we're, we're, I, I'm personally excited for tomorrow. Um, looking forward to playing in an amazing stadium. It's been a brilliant tournament. I have to thank everybody here for the way the tournament has been run in Germany. They've put on an amazing um, event. We've been made very welcome, particularly in the village where we've been staying. Everybody's been wonderful to us. So we're looking forward to this last step now.